Hi, this is Gail from Life in Splatters, and this is a pretty piece I did on a day I just wanted something really juicy and salicious. Um, it's an oval canvas. I put down my black artist loft black mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water as my base coat, and this is going to be a swipe. And it, it took a lot of twists and turns along the way. Uh, but I ended up really, really loving what I, I did at the end. So I think that is always sort of a lesson that I want to impart to you, that once you've put the paint onto the canvas, you're not finished. You can do a lot more. You can alter parts of it in particular that you don't love. Now I find with the round and the oval canvases, it's really important to make sure that your base coat gets on all of the edges because they're kind of rippled where they're stapled and you want good coverage and you don't want any white canvas showing through. So I'm going to just start layering on some beautiful metallics and they're all mixed again, just flow trawl and water. Uh, nice juicy consistency falls off the stick, makes a bit of a mound and then sinks. And I'm going to put uh, some more of the black above the colors and I'm going to spray some water on a paper towel and begin to swipe. Oh my, just watch the beauty of those cells coming to the surface. Now I see people having difficulty uh, making cells. I think there's several elements that contribute to great cell production and structure. Uh, I think the first one is having, absolutely having the right consistency of paint. And the second one is to make sure there's enough paint on the canvas that you can draw it over the other paints, which will then allow the cells to come up from beneath. So I give it a quick torch and I start doing my schmears. And I'm sort of looking, it's, I kind of like it, but I'm certainly not done. There's quite a ways to go yet. So I am just using my stirring stick to apply some of the golden interference green in lines, uh, creating some movement, some definition. Uh, you can always add any color and create some patterning in your painting. So these are all the pretty little bits. I thought I was done. I thought, you know, this is pretty. It's It's got some lovely movement to it, some great cells. I love the contrast. I found that if I don't use black in a painting, I don't really love it. 
uh, I think is important. And look at the beautiful cells. Um, they're just gorgeous. And that's metallics at the right consistency and with the right amount of paint on the canvas. So here I'm just experimenting. I'm pulling a damp paper towel across that interference green and pulling it across the top of the colors. And it, you know, it's a nice effect, but it isn't exactly what I was going for. And you'll see I'll continue on and I will add more paint, swipe again. I'll turn the canvas around, add more paint, swipe again, uh, schmear, swipe. Uh, and then I go even further at the very end, just to give it a little bit more interest. So here are all the pretty little bits at this stage and that, that movement of the swipe across the top of the paint, it's kind of pretty. It looks a bit like waves, but I decided I want to continue on. So I'm adding the Golden's Interference Green and some more of my black and I'm going to swipe down and see how that looks.
Pretty happy with how this looks. The cells are still really very beautiful. And uh, off camera, I used my palette knife to do some small smears and pulled up some of the color from this lower area into the black uh, negative space that's between the two separate swipes. I guess I didn't have the camera on. But you'll see in the close ups that I have done that. Now I'm assessing it again really actually very very pretty piece. Um, the cells on this upper area started to get soft especially the light bronze. The cells down here are absolutely beautiful and you saw that was only the metallic turquoise and silver and then I used black to swipe over it. But see how I, what I mean about the softness in those light bronze. So I end up doing a little bit more fiddling around. Seems to be what I do. I've added a little bit of black and I'm adding some of the Golden's Interference Green. And I'm gonna do what I call, I guess, a micro swipe. I just want to adjust these two little swipe areas. And you'll see that when I bring the paper towel down, I get, I get lots more definition, lots more contrast, and actually it turned out to be a good move. And so I think I, I do it again on the other area that has that, that pretty soft bronze. So what I'd like to encourage you to do is to, when you do your painting, sit back, assess it, See if there's some way that you can improve it. You know, it's just something that catches your eye, that just, maybe it's balance, maybe it's movement, maybe it's contrast, but sometimes you can just go in and tweak a small area and it makes the painting so much more interesting. 
And that's sort of what I did all the way along here. So I w- thank you again for coming along for your kind comments and your support. Uh, I've been really busy lately. I don't get to paint very often at all. But I want to encourage you to keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. And take good care of yourself. Stay healthy. And uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.